And hey guys, welcome to Jitoa 64s. Well, well, right now I'm going to be doing a uh, arena brawl. And well, the link will be shown below. It's mc.highpixel.net. And so, what I'm going to do is just a quick few mini games. And yeah, guys, I'm sorry for the long wait. A bunch of stuff happened and. I wasn't able to do anything on the weekends. So right now we're going to go to for right now I'm going to do 4v4 ranked. And so what you do is you queue up for these places and then when you're in the middle of a battle, there are these you have a sword that if you right click with it, it can do stuff like throw snowballs at people and fireballs. If you have then you have these three skills which is utility, support, and ultimate. And utility is usually just places items or does something cool. Like the one I have right now is a barricade that allows for me to make an area where I'm protected at. And so right now we're going to eventually be playing soon. I also have a healing totem under support, which can heal me and a shield wall as my ultimate because I don't have a lot of anything else and it also defends me. There are also runes if you saw before it looks like the lapis lazuli and so right now I'm just going to start and here we go. I'll tell you the rest after. So right now I'm using the energy which if you look at my experience bar that's where the energy is. And so if you see, I have more health than usual. So right now I'm just going to go here. Going to go somewhere at least. There we go, barricade, healing totem. This is the advantage of the barricade. It allows for you to heal yourself. if you look at me right now we're kind of losing I think because one of the people is actually AFK which is never a good thing and so right now my shield wall is acted up if you see whenever they turn dark gray that means that the skill is having waiting time or for the ultimate once you use it once you can't use it again and thus it goes great for the whole game. And so right now, why you constantly hear my mouse go back and forth is because I'm actually using both left click and right click. So I'll just make a healing totem here. The thing I like about these barricades is that they actually they go with the whole um if I put it in the middle of the glass, there'd be glass all around it. Which, the glass you can't see right now, but it's during the... When you can see it most, it's usually during the time where you're doing 2v2. And that's during 2v2, which I'm going to do next. You have glass in the middle, so you can have a glass barricade. There's no difference in the barricades because you can't break them either way, but it's just cool that they're all different. See right now I'm just healing myself. And then there are also power-ups that appear in the game. One thing I like about my ability is that it allows me to use um whenever I hit someone with the snowball not only does it hurt them it slows them down you know before I did have fireballs because that's the default one I like snowballs better because it actually apart from explosive damage which is the negative that doesn't have the explosive damage that the fireballs had it's a lot better in the way that there's just 
quo with the snowballs, they slow people down. Thus allowing for you to either run away from them or you to get faster, closer to them faster. See, when you have these barricades as well, you have to watch out for the fact that there's all, usually a hole in the middle. So I usually try to go to different areas to protect myself. And then when the person dies, they drop a bunch of stuff. And luckily, my team is winning, so I guess it's just a lot better when your team winning because then you're going to get stuff from it. Because I've been with teams that were complete beginners and because of that they didn't win. And now we've won. So I, oh wow, it's double coins weekend. So I got 84 coins instead. And then you go to the shop and I'm going to show you the rest of the stuff. There's combat, upgrades, and then hats. Hats you can get by, once you get a certain kill streak, you can go over here to this villager, right click him. And he'll say all the stuff if you have like if you trade in two win streaks, you get a hundred coins, and then you can also get keys. Which is if you trade in six win streaks, you receive one key, but it will res all these will reset your win streak. But at the same time, if you lose during the two v two battles where you you get your win streaks from then all those win streaks go away. So it's pretty nice because of the fact that it puts up a bunch of risk. And then there's also the combat upgrades, which I cannot afford. But once you get to the affording abilities, you can have like melee upgrade, health, energy, cooldown, which is how long it takes for you to use. Um, let me see. Yeah, it's how long it takes for you to use your next ability. And there are also runes, which have the rune of slowing, which might be on to attack attacks could slow people for three seconds, but only has a three percent chance. I was thinking of using others, but I think I like this one more. And I think you can only choose one of the runes because it shines and just looks like you can only use one. And so, as you can see, these are extremely highly priced. Um, Cost for all of the skills. Let's see here. Holy water. I um, like that one that much. So, as you can see, there are different ones. As I'm going through each one, you can also see it's not available. Let's see. I have, I'm sorry guys, I just haven't been on here in a while, so I'm looking around a lot. You can skip this part if you want. If you haven't already skipped it. Um, I may put the part where, after I've gone through all this stuff, down in the link. Well, down in the description, I mean. Just like how I did for the other one where there were dark parts, which was a problem. So right now I'm just going to go back to the 2v2 now. This one is ranked. See my ranking over there, 1053. I've gotten 4 kills, 7 wins, and I have a win streak of 0. And the one thing I like about this is that it has search parameters. Well, parameters. And so with these search parameters, they have 843 and stuff like that. It's usually pretty close to you in the beginning, but then they get more. And one thing I really like about these 2v2 is because it's more personal because you have one other person on your team. So it's just relying on you and that one person. So when you're fighting people, usually you don't end up ganging up because they end up ganging up. And it's just a lot easier this way. Like, Times like these, you would gang up on the other person. And another reason why I like bar barricade is because if you use it right, you can trap the person. But as you can see, we're already getting split up because it's this other person that's attacking me. So I'll just 
be playing now. Sorry guys, I may get a bit too um, focused because I happen to get focused whenever I'm playing. Oh crap, Let's see able to get through. Dang it, he took it down. You can also take down the so many, well, the totem poles and all healing items, which is why you see the people attacking you, because otherwise I'd just be healing 300 every turn. I'm just gonna run and do this. And the reason why I go to these places is because usually there's less. Oh crap, he's dead. One of my teammates is dead now, so I'm gonna have to try to win, but I don't think I'll be able to. That's another thing about this one, which is one thing I like because it makes you want to do better because you realize that if you don't then the teammate that you have will end up having to fight everybody on their own but it really does suck for the person that's crap well and so this is how this is what happens when you die and stuff so yeah I just wanted to make a really quick one because I'm probably going to end up adding three and so, yeah, so I will see. This has been Jado64, and I will see you guys later.